We've been playing Melee for over 20 years now, and it's truly insane to think that 2022 brought us even higher peaks than anything we've ever seen before. The ability for anyone to beat anyone at any time left us with one of the most competitive and entertaining years in the game's competitive history. And although we ran into a couple speed bumps, I think it's only fitting we look back on an incredible year by celebrating some of the best moments 2022 had to offer. My name is Turndown for Walt, and here is my list for the top 10 moments of Melee in 2022. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Team Liquid's Hungrybox breaking a two-year tournament win drought at Gommel 2022. Get On My Level 2022 was a 492 entry tournament taking place in Toronto, Canada. As one of the premier Canadian events of the modern Smash era, Gommel featured a ton of high-level talent, and one of the most hyped crew battles we've seen in the last 10 years in USA vs. the world. Although the competition was fierce, it was Hungrybox making his return to form, breaking a two-year streak without a major victory. There, he took the tournament from winner's side with wins over Nun, IBDW in the now-famous reverse pop-off, and JMook twice. An incredible performance from one of the five gods of the game, and one that shows signs of good fortune moving into 2023 and beyond. But is the bear- oh! oh! What a tricky way went with oh. Randall, but- Oh, oh and, and the miss ledge death. So, Hbox is your Gommel 2022 champion. Checkmate, Atheist. H-God is back. Going into 2022, Aklo was considered one of Melee's most promising prospects. By the time his final tournament of the year, Redemption Rumble, came to an end, he had elevated himself into a full-blown top 20 contender. Entering the concluding tournament of 2022 as the undisputed king of Tri-State Melee, Aklo set out to defend his territory from a menagerie of invading world-class talent like Magi, Zuppi, Kadoran, Cody Schwab, and Zane. Right from the get-go, Aklo found himself pitted against stark opposition when he had to face off with top spacey main Zealot, Zuppy, and Fiction in round-robin pools. Aside from claiming a clean 3-1 victory over Zealot, Aklo would just barely manage to squeeze his way into top 16 after taking two Game 5 sets over Zuppy and Fiction. Throughout his run in top 16 the following day, Aklo would easily put on one of the best performances of his career when he vanquished Swift, Magi, Cody, and Kadoran to take the tournament while only dropping a single set. It's also worth mentioning that he amazingly took Grand Finals over well-known Spacey Slayer Kadoran with his Link, likely netting the Hero of Time his greatest tournament placing in Melee history. Is he dead? Yes, he, he is! Oh Let's fuck the top Dead five! Oh my god, everything on the line. That could be it! That's it and that's down it. Air. Oh, With the fuck down air! Oh. New York City, this is your hero! We have foxes, but we have a Link too! After coming in at 9th place at his first Canadian Tournament of the Year, Battle of BC4, instead of flying back home to Australia to lick his wounds, Joshman instead opted to tour the immensely stacked SoCal Melee scene in an effort to grow his skills. This included a second place outing at the New Mang 2 where he collected wins over SoCal Melee royalty in Null and S2J. His pilgrimage to one of the most stacked regions in the game ended up paying off in droves for Josh Man when he entered his next Canadian tournament, Gommel 2022, looking like a completely different player than he was a month prior. Putting to use all of the skills he attained during his stay in SoCal, Joshman underwent a mind-blowing breakout tournament run, with the Aussie dominatingly dispatching a handful of titans of the game including KJH, Amsa, Null, Moki, and Cody Schwab en route to an insane 4th place finish, easily putting himself and the Oceanic Melee region on the map in the process. For the call out, Rising Drill is gonna get him out of trouble for now, Shine clinks with up till Joshman with the wave dash back every time. Yeah, he has been trying to kind of bait that role, IBW not giving it to him, but beautiful forward Here we extension! Go! When Leffen took first place at Battle of BC4 last year, it put an end to a nearly three-year dry spell where he hadn't been able to pick up a single major US tournament win, with his last stateside victory coming back all the way to 2019 at Super Smash Con. During this time in the Great White North, the original Godslayer took down a murderous row of heavy hitters like Joshman, Amsa, Hungrybox, and Zane twice to take the event without giving a single set. However, what truly made Leffen's win in Vancouver so spectacular wasn't just the fact that he won his first US Major title in almost three years. No, it was that he was able to do so by defeating Zayn twice with Sheik. After Leffen and his Sheik came up short against Zayn in their previous offline meeting at Pound 2022 where Zayn won 3-1, Leffen would finally exact his revenge at Battle of BC4 by double eliminating the Golden Swordsman from the tournament in two competitive 3-1 sets, and in the process become part of a small fraternity of dual Sheik mains to ever win a major level tournament. Oh Wait a minute, off stage. God. Oh, the oh. down tilt? The oh downer? my god. Oh, one more. I don't know if he does I, even I jump. think that's it. No. That's it, and Leffen wins Battle of BC! With 
the sheep. <laughs> Until the exceptionally competitive last three months of the year that saw nearly half of the top 11 make a solid argument to being called the world's best player, Cody Schwab, then known by his former tag IBDW, looked to be nearly at the head of the pack when he won Phantom 2022 in July. This marked his third overall major victory for the year after taking both Smash Summit 13 and Royal Flush. But after returning to offline competition following a three-month hiatus, that coveted fourth major win just seemed to slip through Cody's grasp, with him unable to even place in grand finals at his next two in-person tournaments. This looked to be the case during his run at Smash Summit 14, when he was absolutely erased from the winner's bracket by Mango. However, channeling into the same reserves of greatness that propelled him formerly to the forefront of the melee hierarchy, Cody showcased his champion-level grit by making it all the way to grands after utterly decimating the loser's bracket. Over the course of his lower bracket journey, the future number 4 ranked Phenom eliminated 5 members of Melee's upper echelon, including Plup, Axe, Zane in a reverse 3-0, Hungrybox in a reverse 3-0, and Amsa. Although he would fall to eventual tournament winner Mango in Grand Finals, Cody Schwab's willingness to never surrender in the face of crushing adversity proves that he is, without a doubt, one of the best players in the game today. Yeah, 70% is huge. <gasps> yep. Okay, okay. Oh, does get the strong that's like the, hit of Even getting the strong hit is like no problem. Oh, no! Great side B, but off stage again. It's all falling oh, apart. I, I can't believe Cody is doing this. Cody just this is gonna keeps happen. Out. He actually got the oh, good DI on back throw there too. He DI's back throw I, yeah. in. That's this an F smash. This oh! is wow. The forward smash he getting made baited. Panic, bro. Cody. He dialed in. Cody. That's so good. Halfway through our list, and I'd like to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video. It's a well-known fact that my dog Nala doesn't have thumbs, and even she knows how sick having a VPN is. Since using discount code WALT, Nala has increased her thumbless APM by 4,000% and now performs marginally better than your average O2-er. That's called improvement, asshole. With Surfshark, you can do a whole bunch of sketchy stuff, like watch block content, <coughs> Project M from other countries, and they even offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're struggling to grow thumbs like Nala is, you can just not have a VPN while you process that trauma. With unlimited devices, a no-logs policy, high-speed connections, and 24-7 customer support, you'd have to be an idiot flaunting around their idiot thumbs to not take this offer. Check out surfshark.deal slash Walt to get an 83% discount on your VPN plan, plus three extra months for free. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And if you don't use this link, Nala will never get thumbs. So, uh, enjoy that on your conscience. Asshole. I still have a few seconds left in this ad read, so, uh, Surfshark, Surfshark, sir. holy shit, that's really hard to say. To say the entirety of 2022 Melee was a wild ride for perennial fan-favorite Manga would be a complete understatement. For the first eight months of the year, the Cloud9 standout struggled greatly to even make it into top four at any North American major he attended, with the first time he was able to do so all year coming at Wave Dash 2022, where he placed fourth. It appeared that the Reaper had finally come for the GOAT to finally be put out the metaphorical pasture. However, when the Melee community looked to write off Mango for the rest of 2022, they had unknowingly violated the number one commandment in the Smash Bible, Thou shalt not sleep on the kid. And at his next major event, Super Smash Con 2022, Mango proved that his time at the top was far from over when he won the tournament without dropping a set, starching the other top tier smashers in Lunar Dusk, Axe, Lod, and Hungrybox twice. Just when it looked like he was down for the count and what would become one of his best performances all year, the kid announced emphatically for all the world to hear on the big stage in Virginia that he was back. Oh, oh. okay, big opportunity. He can't rest. That's the right answer. Oh, enough to do it. It's Mango wins Smash Con 2022. Oh my God, from winner's side. They said it was a slump. They said Mango had fallen down, but they forgot the first commandment. Thou shall not sleep on the kid. Oh my goodness. After a successful 2021 campaign that saw him place within top 8 at majors like Riptide and Mainstage, all signs seemed to be pointing towards Axe reclaiming his place among Melee's upper echelon. However, for the first half of the year, Axe remained largely inactive, with him entering just three in-person tournaments from January to July, which included two 13th place finishes at Genesis 8 and Pound 2022. The second half, though, proved to be a much different story, with Axe going on a sudden and absolute tear on the national stage. From August to December, not only did he top 8 6 out of the 10 majors he attended, he also took home wins over reputable players like Fiction, Leffen, Kadoran, Jmook, and Zane, ultimately ending the year at the number 10 spot on the 2022 SSBM rankings. While any of these later year performances would have guaranteed him a spot on this list, they were all a part of a spectacular resurgence from one of Melee's all-time greats that saw him rebound from a career-low ranking of 29th in August to capturing his 7th top 10 ranking in the span of only 4 months. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh wait, that's it! That's it! That's, it. that's the one! Yep! 
Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> somehow, <laughs> another spot. set from a top oh space. When Offline Melee made its big return in 2021, many pundits were touting Zayn as the one to overtake Hungrybox's throne at the top of the Melee rankings. This turned out not to be the case though, as he failed to win a single major tournament, falling just short of first place at both Smash Summit 11 and 12. Though he may have not lived up to the hype placed upon him in 2021, 2022 started off the year very promising for Zayn, with him taking home the gold at his first two major tournaments of the year in Genesis 8 and Pound 2022. It seemed as though the Virginian superstar had finally begun to hit his stride in the quest for the mantle of number one. However, the coming months following his win at Pound 2022 would mark the beginning of a long streak of inconsistency on the international level for Zayn. Across his next six tournament outings, he would fail to place first at any of them, while also compiling losses to a couple of then-ranked bruisers in Wally and Slug. The second half of 2022 turned out to be some of the most competitive months of Zayn's entire career. Heading into his first tournament of the second half, Shine 2022, Zayn was going to have to make a statement to remind the Melee community that there was a reason he was once viewed as the best player on Earth. That statement turned out to be a dominant first place performance that saw Zayn trounce Two Saint, S2J, Axe for the first time in his career, shoutouts to Swift, Hungrybox, and JMook, effectively putting himself at the forefront in the race for the top. After a single tournament, Zayn had finally reasserted himself as a true force in the competitive Melee landscape. Although he ended up missing the mark at his next two tournaments, Riptide 2022 and the Big House 10, Zayn would definitively put a stamp on 2022 Melee when he claimed his fourth championship of the year at arguably the most stacked tournament of the year, the Ludwig Smash Invitational. Here, not only did Zayn manage to take the whole event after being almost eliminated in Swiss pools, he also cut a crimson swath through Melee's cream of the crop, such as Axe, Cody Schwab, Leffen, and Hungrybox twice. Though the rest of Zane's 2022 would still be marred by a bit of inconsistency, when the dust had finally settled after the most competitive year in Melee's history, it was Zane who had emerged from the chaos to be crowned as the greatest player in the world, making him the first non-god to hold that distinction since Ken did it during Melee's revered golden age. Oh my god, the empty hop, that's and that's gonna do it! Fun. I think if there was a uh, air limit, I think... I think... Tony. An air limit? <laughs> He's leaving a lot. I actually have a guy you might want to talk to. Look at our if guy. There was an air limit, Congrats I, that to Zane. Is he wearing the Gucci shoes from Genesis? Let's we'll see when he comes I over see a for beat. interview. He wears them every tournament. Did you know that? Yeah. That's Honestly, good luck. props to Zane. Been slumping in the dumps. <laughs> Is that what Dog he... shit player, useless. <laughs> but he's back for he's today back. only. He's back. Next tournament, ninth maximum. No one will remember <laughs> this success when the next tournament starts, and I hope you're happy about that, Zane. No, it was amazing. It's crazy. You won. During the online era of Melee, JMook had quickly made a name for himself as one of the game's most entertaining and talented prospects. With a sizable resume of virtual wins over a who's who of Melee's finest like Bobby Big Balls, Magi, Ginger, S2J, Aklo, and Zane, JMook's return to offline play was highly anticipated to say the least. And he absolutely did not disappoint, placing 13th at the Smash World Tour Championships with wins over Kalamazoo, Gatsu, Far, and Joshman. After making a splash at his first major in-person outing post-lockdown, one of the biggest questions surrounding JMook going into 2022 was that, while he had proven he could compete with and defeat current and future Top 100 players, how well would he be able to stand against those who stood at the top of the world? During one fateful April weekend at Genesis 8, JMook would answer that question by going on one of the most iconic tournament runs in all of Smash history by placing a completely unexpected second place. Throughout his conquest in bracket, JMook compiled wins over a plethora of Melee's pound-for-pound -pound best in Wally, Nun, Lod, Plup, and Cody Schwab, while only losing to the tournament's first placer, Zayn, twice. Not only did JMook demonstrate that he undoubtedly belongs along the top of Melee's competitive summit, he also made history as the first ever unranked player to make grand finals of a major Melee event since the Universal rankings were adopted. Okay, okay. no jump, no jump. Okay, oh! JMook gets down, uh-oh, oh, uh-oh, that might be it. Uh -oh. Yep. Oh, and that's, that's gonna, gonna, that's do, gonna it. do it! Three out for Jay Oh my goodness! Woo! Jay Mook! Oh Jay Mook! Jay Mook goes on. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some other great moments from 2022 which deserve their own recognition. IBDW's reverse pop off. Slightly because if he gets hit by a backer, he will be knocked off stage. Like Opportunity what we just for eight bucks. He calls it out, and that's gonna yeah! be it. Feeling his moment there, Walt. Bobby Big Ball sings happy birthday.
Mech versus Lucky, Shine 2022. Gonna need to be a clean tech chase off of this one right now. Slips to ledge. Wait, oh, no, huge. He oh, got no, the it's drop zone. It stomp. Oh, the wall jump. Back oh, out. he got accidental. Oh, no, what are you doing? there's dead? no DI. What, what are you doing? doing? What are you doing, Mech? Why? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what? <laughs> He's crazy. Also, that's a shine medal. He's literally wearing the he first wearing shine, the shine medal, medal right now. He's a bad man. I think if he hit that, he should have earned it. He <laughs> should have walked off with it. <laughs> we should have let him win the tournament. <laughs> he might wait, wait just a minute. Just, just end the tournament right immediately. Here. What <laughs> normal person does this? He ain't stopping. That's <laughs> <laughs> he ain't stopping. He ain't stopping. What are you doing? <laughs> Fizzy releases Project Slippy ranked. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom again. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. What do you think this is? What do you think? The Melee community rallies behind Chillin' Dude. Fuck Nintendo. Oh, oh shit. Taking the number one spot on our list is AMSA's Meteoric Rise in 2022. If you were to tell me three years ago that a Yoshi player could win a major championship, I, like many others in the Melee community, probably wouldn't have believed you. In fact, a large percentage of the Melee community would have laughed it off as just some impossible, lofty fantasy. That's what made AMSA's win at the Big House 10 all the more extraordinary when he finally broke through into the next level by netting his first ever major tournament win. After so many years of numerous top 8 finishes, the newly coronated King of Melee could call himself an international champion. However, not wanting to rest on his laurels and to prove that his victory in Detroit wasn't just a fluke, AMSA made it his mission to travel to as many US majors as he could before the year was up in an effort to seize his next championship triumph. With his patented Yoshi combos and styled out up airs, AMSA dazzled audiences across the globe and earned his place in Melee history as the first ever Yoshi main to win a major. This determination to show that he wasn't just a one-hit wonder worked out huge for him, because by the time the ball dropped in 2022, he had won not one, but two more major tournaments, placing first at both Apex 2022 and the Scuff World Tour. These year-end efforts would also pay off in dividends for AMSA's official ranking for the year, being elevated from the number 7 spot on the 2019 rankings to number 2 in 2022. Now, standing on the cusp towards being the best player in the world, 2023 looks to be gearing up to be the year where the AMSA dynasty truly begins. And the crowd is oh, saying AMSA unambiguously. Let's open up. Oh, Mango's freaking out. No, He's up. No, no, this is it. No, 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 no. Look no, at no. it. And Look he, at it. The it's over. He did the eye with the over. AMSA did it. AMSA did it. The first time in history AMSA wins a Super Major, the hardest tournament we've ever seen in 22 years. Smashes the controller down. He knows that he had it. He knows how close he was. Mango put up an incredible fight because that was looking like it was going to be easy peasy for Amsa. Yeah. Then it looked like it was going to be easy, easy peasy, peasy for Mango. And there were going to be broken hearts. But at the last stop, game five, big house 10. I don't believe A Yoshi. A Yoshi is the best of the 987 competitors. I'm Turned Down for Walt, and that was my list for some of 2022's best moments in Melee. Drop your favorite moments from the year in the comments, and consider supporting me on Patreon to get a ton of extra content. Your pledge will give you access to a ton of bonus content, like uncut interviews with the boat himself, Armada, and behind-the-scenes looks at some of my upcoming projects. I'm kind of doing this full-time now, so your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you to our top-tier patrons and YouTube members, Abishua Stein, Bobby Wasabi, Dorian, Eric is Cool, NNG Esports, Storm SSB, Storm, and Tingly Jungle for supporting the channel. And while you're still here, you should check out some of the best plays from the end of 2022, so click on this video.
Thanks for an amazing 2022. Thank you again for watching, and here's to another year of Melee. We'll see you next time.